Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon and welcome to the Division SMP. Now, we are going to be building our home away from home and we're also going to be taking a look at the saplings that I've gathered off camera in between recording the previous episode, which was a collaboration with our newest member to the Division Dream Team, Brownie Bits Gaming, and here and now. And I gotta say at least, this mod pack, the Builder's Forest Bundle mod pack, has a a lot of interesting types of logs and planks and other various types of wood that I would like to begin to work on. To begin with, I would like to have a little more large, I think this is pronounced. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head, but I would like to obtain some more logs of this only because as I continue to look at our home away from home, which is right before us, I can't help but think that it has a little too much gray in the color palette now if we were to quickly step over here and take a look within not the vanilla double chest but within our wooden storage crate here you can see that at least when it comes to the larch wood it sort of stands out from all the other building blocks that we have along with the pine wood now currently we are using lime wood for the vertical support beams of our house but i think i think i'm probably going to take that out let's just go ahead and quickly vein my the vein mine pardon me there for misspeaking uh the logs that we are currently using and let's just go ahead and begin to replace them like this and see if we like how this looks oh i forgot i had the bouncy boots on bounce 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 all right so it has a slight purple hue to it maybe it's a little indigo to me i'm not entirely sure you know what peeps i'm gonna ask you what you guys think of this do you think this looks better with the larch wood or with the lime wood through the power of youtube cards one will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen that you can click or tap on and it will have a poll that you can cast your vote in anonymously so that way you don't have to worry about sharing your thoughts down in the comment section beneath the like and subscribe buttons in the event that you don't want to risk someone saying something rude or mean or offensive but also real quick i want to mention that this tp okay this tp from the toda mic toda mic i can't really pronounce that last uh, word off the top of my head or even if I were to practice but this TP is a lifesaver when it comes to being out and about and away from your bed and needing a place to lay your head to rest so that you can make it the day and also for a moment, I thought this pig had some weird lighting glitch going on, but apparently that's not the case. In case you couldn't tell by now throughout these Let's Plays, the mobs, well, the passive mobs at least in regards to the sheep, the pigs, the cows, and even the chickens, I think, have various textures to them. So it gives them a little more variation, which in my opinion is always a good thing. But what I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to continue to get my build on off camera in regards to building our home away from home and when i bring it back i'll give you guys a little bit of a progress update and if i have the materials and resources at the ready to use then we can go ahead and do some interior decorating together on camera does that sound like a plan i think that sounds like a solid plan so i'll see you guys in just a little moment Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've completed our home away from home. No, I'm just kidding, peeps. This is still that very same tent that I showed you in the beginning act for this Let's Play. This is our home away from home. Now, when this video goes out, a new Minecraft Let's Build will have already appeared on the channel. Now, for a while, I have seen a certain someone on, well, not on, but in the comment section of a few videos ask for some Minecraft Let's Build. And to be a little more specific, this person has been asking for some medieval Minecraft Let's Build. And so, as I've been saying in my responses, that with time and patience, they will be coming to the channel and for that certain theme and so 
basically what I'm getting at is the Minecraft Let's Builds have officially returned to the channel seeing as how it is a new year and there is already one up. If you would like to check it out then consider clicking or tapping on the YouTube card that will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen that will take you to it. It's for a beautiful small medieval house which is basically what we are building here. However seeing as how we are playing with the Builders Forest Bundle mod pack well, I couldn't help but get my build on and recreating it here on the Division server with a few different blocks that were used in that video. The only reason why is because when you have options, it's good to explore them and also I've been really wanting to utilize some more of the blocks provided by the rustic mod seeing as how we have the clay wall and then if you look right here within the surrounding walls then you can see that we have a diagonal clay wall and also we have these slate brick stairs and at the very tippy top i'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to get a decent view of them but nevertheless let's go ahead and run up the hill to fetch a pail of water or however that nursery rhyme goes but you can also see that we have some slate brick blocks within the roof and for the most part i'm actually very happy with how this turned out seeing as how we're using different blocks that are provided from the forestry mod and also from the rustic mod now in the previous segment or should i say in the first act i did ask for you to vote in the poll that is still available to click or tap on provided by youtube cards in the top right corner of your screen as to whether or not use like the use of larch wood or lime wood but i couldn't help but just want to really add a little variation into the build so that's why for now at least I'm going to leave it as you see right here. However, like I said, I do want to do some interior decorating. So I decided to go ahead and take enough spruce logs to break them down into planks and then create four spruce chests. But then I remembered we have the storage drawers mod. So I think I'm going to want to build or not build. I think I'm going to want to craft the basic drawers two by two. And in order to do that, we need, well, four chests and then four planks of that certain wood that we want the color to be. Now, seeing as how I happen to have spruce logs on me, I think we're going to end up making a spruce basic drawers two by two. And seeing as how we have it available to craft provided by the NEI, let's go ahead and just do that. Ooh, we're actually going to get four of these. That is is three more than I thought we would get. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to place two on top of one another right here in the corner at the head of the bed. So that way we can go ahead and go ahead and have a little more storage than we would uh, when we are using just vanilla storage. But also, why don't we just place one of these beneath the stairwell? Yeah, I, I, I like how that looks. And then what we can do also for our crafting chest table is just place this right here in the corner. And then we can also go ahead and place a the fourth and final basic drawer 2x2 two two on top of it. And for the most part, seeing as how I am a guy both in real life and online who likes to be simple well i that kind of sounds bad i think now that i say that out loud seeing as how i'm a guy both online and in real life where i like to live by simplicity and try and keep things relatively neat and organized in a simple manner i think that's pretty much going to do it for our interior decorating so allow me to go ahead and begin to do some landscaping around the place and also begin to craft up a door to place within the doorway and also have a few window panes and then when i bring it back we'll most likely be entering the third and final act for this let's play so once again i will see you in a little moment i have a little bit of sad news and before we begin i just want to say right here and now the amount of support that you guys have been showing on this series has been phenomenal. And I know I say that quite often, but believe me, peeps, when I say this, your continuing strong support on this series, along with all the other series that I bring to the channel, is truly heartwarming. Now, unfortunately, I'm ending this series because after I was AFKing and I came back, and decided to walk out of my house just as the sun was beginning to rise i heard and then i started to bounce away and so yeah 
All the landscaping that I had done here, everything that was once pretty and beautiful and full of life is no more. Now, of course, I'm not going to end this series, peeps. I'm not ending this series at all or anytime soon. That was just me speaking out of, uh, I wouldn't say sadness because I'm just too old and tired to be sad these days. But believe me when I say this, peeps, it's quite annoying when you are in the groove of doing something or maybe you take a little break from playing your game and then suddenly boom a creeper comes around and just takes everything you worked hard for and makes it no more so um <clears throat> unfortunately we're gonna have to end this let's play off on a little bit of a sad note but nevertheless Oh, wait a minute, I completely forgot to let you guys know. Um, well, I was going to say, nevertheless, though, we'll pick ourselves back up and resume getting our build on and having fun. But unfortunately, and Brownie Bits Gaming, if you watch this, and seeing as how you're the one who gave me these possessions, unfortunately, only one of our wooden storage crates survived the creeper explosion. And... Before I go ahead and take a peek inside to show you which one it is that we have along with the contents inside of it. I'm just going to quickly peek down here in case maybe it broke down into its picked up a bowl form and it doesn't appear that it fell anywhere close nearby. So yeah, um, <clears throat> unfortunately only one of our wooden storage crates survived and of course, it's the one with food, so I mean, I could just eat my feelings, uh, seeing as how we had a little bit of a bumble bummer moment up here, and yeah, but that also means that my one wooden storage crate that contained all of my building blocks is no more. But the good news is, at least, you know, the positive chisel design it wasn't harmed during the creeper explosion so like i said ladies and gentlemen unfortunately we're gonna have to end this episode off on a little bit of a sad note so if you did enjoy it then be sure to drop a like and if you are new then consider subscribing to your new home for entertainment but do not forget to turn on notifications that way you won't miss another upload or should i say that way you won't miss a future upload and we'll then be able to share it with your peeps so they can find their new home for entertainment and drop a like on future uploads as well as always my name is vanilla raccoon you guys have been awesome i would like to wish you a happy day and peace out